Look, if we donate a little bit. Oh. Oh, wow. Am I painting? Am I? Should I? Hello, and welcome to another episode of Tech Talk. We are here in Brazil at the Sao Paulo Grand Prix. And as ever, I am joined by our resident Hello. technical expert, the science teacher you wish you'd had at school, Albert Fabrega. How are you doing? I, all good. A good. little bit tired of that triple, but... <laughs> it's an intense triple, isn't yeah. it? That I'll, is I'll for the tech talks and the tech demos that are <laughs> arriving a little bit... Uh, oh, really? There. Well, I know we have another extraordinary adventure from Albert on the table in front of us. Yes, today we are talking about the flaws of these F1 cars. They've become a key part of the F1 development technology in recent years. So why are they so important? And could this be the reason behind Red Bull's recent successes? I'll bet. Laura, I would say one of the reasons <laughs> yeah. why the Red Bull is so quick in all the conditions, that's uh, one of the key points of this car that uh, with Max Verstappen mainly is quick everywhere. It doesn't matter the conditions, the layout of the truck, if it's bumpy, not bumpy. Well, maybe Singapore was a one-off, but uh, it's obviously one of the key parts and the key points of not only of the Red Bull, all the cars, because it changed a lot with the 22 regulations. Yeah, of course. We were seeing a flatter floor through 2020 and then 21. We saw Obviously, some changes once against the regulations. The brand new regulations came in in 22. And that's when we saw porpoising, didn't yeah. we? And that obviously is a key part of the floor that, and how it was interacting with the track. That was an nightmare for mm -hmm. many of the teams. I would say all the teams, but uh, some of them sorted out with uh, an, a shorter period than others. Uh, I would say that Red Bull won, was one of the first teams that uh, could sort it out the porpoising. And uh, one of the key points to sort it out, it was obviously the dynamics of the side post and everything, but to make the, the floor work in uh, as expected and avoiding this uh, bouncing on, on the main straights. And uh, yeah, they, they were a step forward. But we didn't know what they did under the car. Until? Until Monaco. Monaco. Yeah, we yeah. saw Sergio Perez's Red Bull hoisted high up on that crane and we all got a look at Adrian Neary's genius underneath this car. And everyone was like, wow. No, not only us and not only the fans and not only anyone that was at the track, but also the other teams that uh, they realized that there was a lot of work, a lot of detail, a lot of interactions within the CFD and wind tunnel that it was clear that they were a step forward than the others developing the floor. And uh, they realized a thing and we realized that Adrian knew he was uh, again one step forward than, than the others on, on the development of the floor. And we saw a comparison as well with Mercedes, didn't we? Yeah. We saw Lewis Hamilton, I think Williams, we also got a, a glimpse of as well. Yeah, and, uh, and the Ferrari in another sure. race. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, it's interesting how the teams are, are playing with, with it or are developing the, the floor to try to find performance in all the different conditions. That's very tricky in different right heights, in roll and, and a bumpy circuit to try to get all this downfall that is created under the car and to avoid the porpoising and, uh, and then to make it quick. That is not, it's not easy. So this is a replica Red Bull floor. Uh, are you the new Adrian Newey? <laughs> no, no. Likely not for Red Bull. <laughs> but but uh, what yeah. is happening? Tell us then, explain. It's not what the last happening. upgrade, I would say, because there is another upgrade. We had no time, sorry for that. We worked hard, but... Uh, it's not accurate, I'm it's sorry. It's not accurate. <laughs> there is another upgrade with uh, here on the on the edge. But uh, yeah, it is, uh, you know, I think that we can see that new new flows that pretty much as a concept are more or less the same of, of, every, of every single car. But before that, because... This is a matter of vortices, a vortex, everyone, okay. vortex. But I thought there was a, a way to explain what a vortex is. Okay. You want to say that? Yes, please. I think, I think I do. Uh, I never know with these Sorry, tests. all the aerodynamics, all the <laughs> physics that we, if you see this video, forgive me, please. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not a vortex as the, the ones we see, but we cannot paint the air and we cannot see what the air is doing when it's in the, under the floor. So I said, Let's do a vortex. A vortex okay. is a spiral of air. It's like a uh, hurricane. A whirlpool. Yeah. A tornado. So, yeah. Okay. Tornado. Tornado. Okay. Is it like a tornado? But let's see if with these bottles we can create a, a vortex. So you see the water is going very slow down. Yeah, super slow. But suddenly, look, if we turn it a little bit. Oh. Oh, wow. You see, we are creating this is a spiral of air. Wow. And it's accelerating that the water is going down. So, and more or less is something like that, a spiral of air, okay. that the teams are trying to take advantage of it. 
So it, we can see that on the rear wings when there is a lot of uh, humidity. Uh, we can see it also sometimes on the dashboards, on the old cars. Mm -hmm. It's something nice and uh, the teams used to play with it. It's so important for them to use the play uh, and to play well with the Vortex. And that creates a seal, doesn't it, to the track? They create a seal to try to keep the performance of the yeah. of the flow. As uh, we saw in... Tech Talk in Tech Singapore. Talk, Singapore. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. With, with the flow, that was the Mercedes flow. Ah. <laughs> that, was, um, that was nice. It wasn't raining there. At least till we finished the, the thing, but it was uh, so nice to see the smoke going through. So I thought that today we have seen a lot of uh, drawings, I guess, in the internet uh -huh. of uh, CFD things on the floor. You 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 want to go on the floor? Okay. Okay. So on the floor we have three parts very clear: the front, the mid, and the rear. You remember in Bahrain when we did the tunnel ah, with yes. the air going through yes. the pipes and the balls? Mm -hmm. I see. So where the, the the town force, it was great. It's very simple. We have an entry, we have a middle zone that squeeze the air. I remember from Bahrain, yes. Yeah, yeah. To accelerate the air yeah. and create down force. And then we have an expansion area, the diffuser, mm. where the air gets an expansion, it goes out at the back of the car. So you want to see what the air is doing now? Okay. Yeah. I got something. How are we going to do this? Yeah. Look at that. Out there is getting gloves out. Do I need to put some on as well? Am I putting on gloves? Yeah. Okay. Not. Well, so I'll, I'll do it just, just because. I have a well, I'll have a mask just in case, but I okay. think it will not be necessary because <laughs> we're gonna paint the air. Okay. We, we got. Where, where do I stand to not get covered in paint? Oh yeah. <laughs> the, <laughs> That's not possible out not there, possible. right? But what I will do is just to try to paint. It's a, it's a joke. Sorry, I did not miss this. But we will try to do what okay. the air is doing in in a little bit with the with the paint. So. We know the dirty air that is coming from yeah. the, from the wake of the tire and the front wing. Okay. But to say that this part, whether you see these fences, these strikes, they have one. The see the target you say is okay. This is blowing the air out of the car. This is generating outwards because we have a lot of dirty air here. But it's not the main target. Okay. Let's paint the the dirty air with red. Okay. So they just oh, this is white. Sorry. <laughs> and maybe maybe I stand. Behind you, maybe I'll okay, stand behind better, you. better, because the wind is going that way. So I'll hide behind you. That's red air. It's okay. dirty air that is uh, going from the wake, and the car is pushing the air out, yep. of, out of the car, out of the floor. We don't want that dirty air. But also there's a strike that are different depending on the team, the camber, the shape, the, the right height, different different concepts. Uh, they are keeping this tunnel clean to generate a very strong vortex seed in this area. Right that goes all along the car to the back. But these fences also are generating vortices. So these fences are also generating vortices that merge in this one. This is not only to just push the air out, also they're creating the vortage we saw with the bottle. Yep. Spirals of air that are coming and merging the wow. main one that is coming really close to the car. This is the cleanest that they, they can take, so they keep it up to the rear of the car. Wow, okay. okay. So let's move a little bit backwards if you want. I'll come back around. I'll come back around. <laughs> I'll come around. So you supply me the bencher. Oh, I'm painting. Am I painting? Do you want to? Okay. Where? Wait. Okay. Wait. Am I? Should I? Yeah, you can, of course. So we rave to the mid of the car. So here? Yes. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. okay. It is funny, but calm down. <laughs> so we, we have a center area that is so important because one of the key points on the Red Bull is that, that you see that the profile that is following the cockpit, the, the, the area where the, the driver is, mm -hmm. the chassis, let's say, or the, or the survival cell, is not as like a wing as the other ones. It's just step one. And okay. it makes a big difference on the generating uh, downfall, but we don't want to talk about that. One of the things that we can see from the outside is that wing. That yeah. wing that is here. Last year, Red Bull and other teams had like a nice escape here to try to seal. Yeah. Try to seal the floor because obviously we have downforce here, we have low pressure on this area, and the air was trying to go in and this okay. it mm. and creates. What we have to do? Like a skirt to try to blow. How? With both the sex generated by this wing that is on the on the top. Okay. You wanna paint it on red? I'm painting this red, I Just the red, yeah. Oh, not that red, okay, it's okay, that's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're okay. covered in paint. It's okay. <laughs> and this is white, okay. So we could say that they are merging again, generating 
clean air again to the to the yeah. diffuser. Oh, we create wow. a mess here. But anyway, uh, so we have the flow that is sealed, avoiding yeah. air coming in. We push all the dirty air out, out, and we clean air have air. a lot of vortex, uh, strong vortex coming out to the diffuser. Red Bull. This air is so small compared to the others. The gearbox, the rear crash structure, they pack everything up to a limit that is so nice and so clean to see that they have a maximum volume on the diffuser where the air has an expansion. And even they have different, there's not only a kick point, they have two kick points that is very tricky to make it work properly because it changes a lot on different right heights. If we move the right head of the car, yeah. that is a, one of the really complicated things to do for the other teams. And Red Bull looks like they are sorting out very well. And of course, right height, we looked at last week at the blank, it's talking point at the moment, isn't it, Indeed. Formula One. Are we going to see the floor become less important in Formula One cars? I think is it will be always important because it's where we generate the most of the downforce of the car. But I think that the things are balancing. So there's no changes of regulations this year. Like like the last year, you remember, we had to rise the, they have to rise the, the side of the floor. Mm -hmm. And But this this year, regulations don't change so i hope and i guess that teams will converge so the difference that create this piece from one car to the other if it, if there is a difference will be smaller but adrian newey always surprises us yeah absolutely and at 26 things change all over again yeah they? 26 will be a massive change yeah we'll we see. don't know yet the regulations complete it's up to other teams to try to catch up with red bull then isn't it i um, hope so i hope so so. Great stuff. Albert, thank you yep. very much as ever for another messy, brilliant tech talk. We'll see you again in Las Vegas.